hello guys digital marketing course and uh, we are doing seo and we had some gap maybe three to four classes now directly i'm going to teach you today how to write content we learned uh, what to not do like uh, we learned keywords how to do keyword research and uh, what are the black hat techniques and what not to do now we're gonna mix both of them and i'll show you properly how to do a proper seo okay one second people are joining. people are joining okay meanwhile i gave task of um, black hat techniques to the students i asked them to do it first i'll show you what they have done and after that we will move forward so so black hat techniques i gave task and uh, this is a ppt done by the suraj because when students do more tasks that will help them a lot but i don't know only one student has done the work only if you watch the videos nothing will come whenever you start practicing that will help you a lot so as of now only suraj has done remaining students have not done see the suraj saying that according to black hat techniques website over optimization keyword stuffing repeating the keywords number of time is a black hat technique or optimized alt description like there is something called image alt that is also you'll be learning commercial anchor text in internal pages you'll also learn irrelevant keywords linking over optimization hidden text html heading over optimization when it comes to content scams copied content content automation bait and switch article spinning scrapped content cloaking malicious active content clickbait so these are all the things link manipulation illegal ways to make money paid links crp spam crooked website mirror site private blog network vicious tactics so in such a way these are all comes under black hat tactic this is what he mentioned good research anyway this is this kind of uh, hard work is important from the student thank you very much suraj done a good job but i'm checking other people have not done last till keyword task only they done it now i'll be opening now content writing we didn't learn till now so today let me finish with the content writing as well after this we are good to go to write a blog so if you think fine i think we're going to write a article tomorrow and we are going to see our rankings as well but before that let me revise what we learned till now first a crp search engine results page like when you open google that is a search crp result here top 4 are ads bottom 3 are ads and between 10 organic results now our goal is to come over here in the first page itself to come over here that is our seo for that what techniques we are using is called seo but to do that first of all we should understand how a search engine works we already learned how search engine works first crawling second indexing third calculating relevancy fourth retrieving results so crawling means collecting the content data crawler will come and reach each and every website and collect the content indexing store data as per the categories divide dif- divide into different uh, categories and store calculating relevancy ranking factors who should come on top here google will decide based on 200 factors finally it will display results in crp but crawler will not come and read each and every line i told you before there are some important places important places crawler will read mandatorily this we learned like a uh, title t 
description h12 h6 headings links file name first line of the paragraph and uh, image alt bold and italics so these are the places crawler will focus so focus on these place but i told you in the in the title or description in these places also if you write sachin is a great cricket player crawler is not going to read the entire sentence but it is going to pick a keyword only so you should learn the art of doing a keyword research and we did on the day how to do a keyword research all of you done the task for uh, resorts i guess everybody have done what do you say guys who are watching the uh, video now tell me yes if you done the keyword research so we done brainstorming google suggest keyword planner you can try uber suggest and there are many as well now crawler will not come each and every line crawler will come only at these places and crawler focus on keyword that's why do the keyword research for take this keywords put it over here and try to come on top but i told you you can't put the keywords and directly put it over here sajna but why you didn't submitted the reports here this report black hat techniques i told you black hat and uh, uh, google updates also i mentioned you haven't worked on if you work you will learn more sajna okay sajna next time you should do okay okay and uh, next so if you take the keywords push it over here this is kind of a black hat technique so we so duplicating the content copying the content from someone else or uh, uh, writing a content for uh, both google and uh, user like creating a two pages and doing and changing the background color that is also wrong doing cloaking is also wrong and using the exact keyword on your domain name that is also wrong in such a way there are black hat techniques you should avoid now you can see already suraj has mentioned the different kinds of black hat techniques so research on this and you should not do it so in that repeating the keywords n number of time is also wrong you should not do it properly you should do it so keyword research we learned what we should not do it we learned but how to research the content which we going to learn it content writing is not a cup of tea for everybody right so this case there are some tool which we going to learn maybe you are already using it but i'll tell you the best way to use the content so one is chat gpt copy.ai then uh, content rewriting tools and uh, voice to search voice to text in such a few are there you can try them okay i'll start with the chat gpt so here i'm telling you if someone ask you to write a content for something how to get the content okay will this ai content will be approved or not we going to learn now so for the content what i'm doing is first i'm going to chat gpt so open dot ai once you go there you are doing for the first time you have to register create your account just click on login with the gmail account and uh, within uh, one minute only you'll be redirected over here and here this is called a prompt you have to it's like a question they call it as a prompt you give a prompt and chat gpt is try to give you answers what is the difference between uh, chat gpt and the google google i'll tell you one thing <clears throat> i'm asking some question what is digital marketing i, I asked the question of you okay when i asked this question
it immediately gave me answer okay let me go to google i am going to google sajna that i'll teach you tomorrow how to pick up the main keyword i'll teach you tomorrow today we learning content now here i ask the question what is digital marketing same thing i'm asking here what is digital marketing see google way of style is in such a way to search engine when you search for a keyword it will give you reference of this keyword and which places this keyword is mentioned related and relevant content to be showing now mailchimp has written a content about what is digital marketing investopedia also mentioned what is digital marketing adobe experience also mentioned. now i have to click here i have to go there and i have to read them it's same this is also same but this is instant maybe saving your maybe 10 more seconds day by day people becoming lazy in such a way that they want to they don't want to stay for a long time now earlier people used to watch 3 hours video also nowadays people are watching 1 minute content only shorts or reels they can stay for 4 hours they don't have any problem watching the same smartphone for 4 hours but they want a different different content they can't watch the same content for 3 hours no so based on the content people are developing now people are loving this lot okay i'm getting results very fast okay so almost this chat gpt also works in such a way that it will be taking this content from different sources and they giving it. but it is more of instant so when it comes to the content you can take from like this or this but here it is ready made for you now this is the question this is the answer right now if i ask them can you write it in 100 words this was a lengthy right now i'm just asking them to write in 100 words now it is reduced somewhat how many somewhat reduced in such a way you can give instructions and uh, can you add hyderabad keyword so this is more like a conversation now so the previous prompt what are i asked it is remembering okay this guy asking about digital marketing now i asked can you write it for 100 words now it is understanding like a human that i have to write this in 100 words and after that when i asked to add a hyderabad keyword see digital marketing employs electrified device and somewhere they might have used to see the word the hyderabad they are highlighting it so seo people you can also give instruction to the chat gpt that add these keyword this it's even advanced way of prompting is there that i will talk about when we have a ai classes then uh, how to use this uh, prompts in advanced way but as of now we are stick to seo and that too we are retrieving the content so this is enough chalo now you are about to write a blog on uh, secret of bermuda triangle what is the secret of bermuda triangle so or else you want to write something like uh, any topic like how to make chicken biryani the recipe you want to write it so you can mention the so please write a blog on how to make chicken biryani previously people used to research lot and write now this chat gpt write very fast how to make chicken biryani yes Now this understanding that this is a blog. See what is the title, then the content. Let's keep on writing. See how beautiful it is. Now you can use it as a blog. Lengthy content it is writing. This is enough. If you put it on your blog in a nice looking theme. Obviously, it looks good. But what later you can add some images to this. So, lengthy blog, you got it. See, content writing become very easy. Now, here is the question: like, uh, can you can I use the same content or not? Is it going to be a copy content or not? Or else, uh, is it going to be a machine content or not? So, here, what I'm telling you is, copy this content. Okay. 
instead of directly using because Google is very smart. Okay, obviously chat GPT is developed by someone else, not the Google. So obviously this is going to be complicated. Maybe I don't know whether they like it or not. Now Google started something. Previously it's Google Bard. Now they change it as a Gemini. So this is Gemini. Better maybe they might support this instead of that. So let me let me write. Can you write a blog on how to make chicken biryani? Because Google has a high competition from that. That's why immediately they built this chicken biryani. Gathering your arsenal of ingredients, the art of the biryani step by step masterpiece. So they also written a blog. Maybe I don't know. I'm not correct in this, but my analysis is instead of using a chat board, chat uh, this board content from Chat GPT, why don't you try the Google created Gemini? Maybe because obviously any platform want their tools to be used, and algorithm whatever they use. It's up to them. They create algorithms. They can write anything. If they identify that the content is from uh, OpenAI, there is a possibility. What are they can do it? So that's why I'm telling you, take. But here also, don't take a risk of directly pasting over here. Here, there are some content rewriting tools like a quill boat. Go to this quill boat and copy your content. Now, assume that. This, this sentence I'm copying it. This is a free version. You can't write, you can't uh, rewrite more content. If you upgrade, it's very cheap. Then lengthy of the content also you can re rewrite. Now what this will do, as you know, this is the copy content. I'm copied from someone else. They change the phrases, words, and uh, with the same meaning, they write it in another way. Like uh, now I'm teaching digital marketing. Based on my communication skills, my language, how I learned, I explain in a different way. Basic, I'm from a Telugu medium background, so my English is not that much great. But it's the same thing delivered by a guy who is from English medium and uh, he has a very good grammar. He'll deliver in a different way, but the content is same. In the same way, the content will be same, but they change everything. Now this is going to be a fresh content. So yeah, once the biryani is okay, once the biryani is cooked. Let it rest for a few minutes for the flavors to mold further. Allow the biryani to sit for a few minutes after cooking so the flavors can continue to mingle. See, same meaning, but they wrote in a different way. This is going to be a fresh content. So either if you want to use the chat GPT or Gemini, which is from Google, directly don't use the content. Copy them, refresh them with a quill boat and utilize them. Okay. There are, there is another, this is good, that's my favorite. Uh, there is one more thing called spin boat as well. You can try this as well. Spin boat or quill boat, but quill boat is much better. And if you have money, go for premium. Premium is not costing much. Let's see how much they're asking. See, uh, $4 per month. Four dollars is not even 500 rupees in India. So it's not a big deal. You can try this. It helps you a lot. Unlimited words, unlimited custom and eight predefined modes, synonyms, freeze words, 6,000 words, plagiarism checker. What are the content we have? Is it plagiarized content or fresh content? It's very good actually, right. Now we understood how to collect the content using the AI tools at the same time, how to phrase them. Next, one more AI tool is there that is called copy.ai. This is another one. Copy.ai. Right, so try to log in at Gmail. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
this is good for copywriting like if you want to write a ad copy for your facebook google ads this is really good but at the same time it's giving content also so here let's see can you write a blog on how to make chicken biryani i'm just checking actually this is not good for blog but for a copywriting wow this guy used the images as well he's writing everybody implementing the ai <clears throat> so try this tool as well this guy is writing very good good nice content you can try them but this is more useful for the copywriting purpose so chat gpt gemini copy.ai but if you want to be success and i have a patience if you tell that i have you have a patience my suggestion is the traditional method okay first go to google there are so many people have written on this read the content understand it and write your own words write in your own words what it is maybe you might be doing grammatical mistakes what it might be no problem write it and once you write it come back here put it in quillboard quillboard not only rewrite it will correct your grammar as well so that's good right now this is fresh content no algorithm will punish you because this is your own you research the content you putting in your own words and writing this is the best way because google is such a uh company they always strive for a uh, customer satisfaction they want to give best to the user so today they might be accepting the machine generated content but one day they come up with algorithm they want to punish it so it's a pain for you today you coming on top tomorrow your rankings will come down so it's better uh write your own content so sir i can't write much uh my english is poor that's what i'm telling right if your english is poor also but at least you can do do this chicken biryani do that mention that and put it in quillboard quillboard will help you if you have no patience to write it then you can do one thing there are so many softwares like uh, voice to text softwares okay speech to text softwares there are many are there let me go to online origins so speechnotes.gov i'm opening it so first start dictating after that let's see hello guys welcome to online digital marketing training it is started okay hello guys welcome to online digital marketing training in this video i'm explaining how to create content online you can use ai tools or you can create your own content see what happening assume that uh, you watch the movie and uh, just start narrating the movie over here it's automatically writing obviously see here digital marketing training has said it said trading you just correct this and after that copy entire thing then go to quillboard put it and the this is 100% your own content okay researching someone else content and writing your own words paraphrasing or use speech to text so that the easily it's writing put it in a quillboard and get the content that's it guys you have a solution so you don't need to worry about uh whether can I able to write a content or not this is the solution so in the last class we explain already google there are two people we have to care about one is google 
one is user to satisfy the google what we need is you have to use keywords but don't use black hat technique that's it use keywords google like it but don't use black hat when it comes to user experience relevant content rich content you need it okay so here to satisfy the google i already taught you how to do keyword research now to, to satisfy the customer i already mentioned content research how to use this now we are going to mix both of them and satisfy both of them now we'll go to the wordpress dashboard there how we are going to mix them how we are going to write the title description links that we're gonna this is the art now now i prepared you for everything guys i started explaining what are the search engines how it works what are the important places what is the keyword research techniques now today we learn the content writing also so we are good to go now so when i come tomorrow i already prepare my own content writing my own words i'll ready with the content i already do keyword research so that your time will not get wasted now immediately i will push all of them in the wordpress website but i will focus more on this how to write the better title how to write the better description that i'm going to teach you so very important class don't miss the class tomorrow same time seven o'clock we'll be talking about this and with this your on page will be done and after that i'll be submitted to the google and i will show you where that blog is ranking the same thing you should do it okay so all of you who are watching the video revise everything tomorrow is important one and uh, last class i gave a task of uh, researching the black hat techniques and google updates only suraj has done remaining people please work hard today i'm giving one more task please do it and come back so i want you to prepare a content by using all these methods so one big article i wanted i should that you developing with the chat gpt or copy.ai but i don't want the same content i want to use the content rewriting do the rewriting and give me the best content so i'm giving the blogging ideas any one topic you can use this is one topic to write and uh, these are three blogs any blog you can select it and generate the content and google says that whenever you're writing a content content also very important google says that 4000 words you have to collect that is the best blog but i'm telling you 4000 words is really typical but this ai jamana you can create easily but you're writing of your own at least thousand is enough thousand words is enough so try to create a content which is thousand to four thousand words and submit to me and i'll look into your content then we'll move forward and uh, we're going to write an article will be submitted to google okay guys that's all for today and we'll see you tomorrow and if you have any questions please let me know only sajna is active remaining people are not active see you tomorrow guys who are watching this video after the live also uh try to come up with a task so that i look into that and we'll go for a writing an article that's it guys thank you very much see you tomorrow at seven o'clock bye